So it is officially the first week of October, and not yet. It's still the end of September, but with a couple of days left, and I have a couple pretty jam-packed days, I figured now was a great time to do this, to go over my pickups, to drink some cider, and yeah, just bullshit about some movies. So I got to tell you guys, this is a pretty jam-packed week. Um, I'm, I have, I'm actually filming three different videos tonight. So you're going to see the same black shirt, black hat, and all three videos. Um, doing pickups, I'm doing watches, and then I have my Halloween ranking. The entire franchise, uh, that's dropping on October 1st. Um, I figured pretty much everyone else was probably going to be doing it on Halloween. So I figured it'd be kind of different to do it on the 1st, I guess. Who knows? Everybody else could also do it and... That's cool too, but here I'm going to be going over my pickups for the month of September. Um, it was a little bit of a a lighter month. Um, there's a ton of pre-orders like out. I went on a Diabolic the other day and I was telling my wife that I had like five things that I was just waiting on getting filled. So some of that's going to be arriving in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully um, the October releases get here before November. I only live like two towns over. Uh, from Diabolic's like main shipping warehouse, so I'm hoping I get them pretty quick. But my my first pickup, I'm going to dive into a little extra. Um, it's just because this is brand new and it just came out, so I got this in from Grindhouse Releasing, and this is their deluxe limited edition release of Hollywood 90028. Now I'll show you guys this more in depth because the slip box on this was exclusive to I think 2,000 units on the website. Um, but yeah, this was Grindhouse releasing. We don't get a ton of releases from them. One of their main focuses is in the theatrical experience. So they're doing these remasters and then they're touring them around the country, around the world uh, and showcasing them in these brand new remasters. And then we get our home physical release. And, but Grindhouse releasing, they always do an incredible, incredible job once these do hit home. And this is one of those. So let me show you. Uh, this slip box that's on here, this is the Hollywood Hillside Strangler slip box, uh, which is an alternate title for the movie. And this was limited to 2000. I believe this is now sold out, but if it's not, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, but check this thing out. This is probably one of my favorite slips of the year. Look at that. Yeah, it's awesome. And then here's the back, continuing in that black and white fashion. Sorry, trying to do this without getting a glare. Uh, on the top here, we have... Uh, twisted throats in black lettering you have the hollywood 90028 along this side and then on the bottom it just says hollywood hillside strangler but in the beautiful tradition of all grindhouse releases this little slip here drops out i'm just throwing everything around so i guess i'll show this first uh this is the soundtrack by God, i'm gonna butcher this name basile Polid polydorus this is composed and arranged and conducted by... Check out this art on this, though. I'll try to do that without getting a... That art is awesome. Here is the back. And it comes in this little slip. And then our disc art. Ooh, disc art's crazy. Uh-oh. Ooh, focus. There we go. So... And uh, this is really cool. This has, let's see, so we have 14 on here, and then we have three bonus tracks as well. So a good little, a good, oh, this was actually remastered by Jesse Tegelman. God, these names, I'm just going to butcher them over and over and over again. But uh, yeah, here is the release. I believe this is all the same into the standard one. So there is your front cover. Here is your back cover. There is an alternate side as well when you flip it over but i'm actually going to show you because it's on the booklet so here's the booklet i think everything on here is safe it looks like it so this is the alternate artwork on the slip which is on this booklet here but um great booklet we always get these with the grindhouse titles and there is just tons and tons and tons of info in here like i always say guys read your booklets learn about the movies um let's see if there's a no i thought there would maybe be like a um like a table of contents but doesn't look like there is we just have a bunch of stuff in here so uh, cool to actually have that and then we have two discs so we have a blu-ray of the feature there 
and then we have an extras disc as well so check that out pretty cool these you know grindhouse the amount of work that they put into um not only the restorations but these releases are incredible and they're they're well worth the time in between the last one we got before this was death game which was oh i don't remember it was either earlier this year or it was end of last year um we got that but uh this this here is packed out so we have a brand new 4k restoration from the original 35 millimeter camera negative a uh, bunch of interviews there's an alternate scenes from the original x-rated version um experimental short films by the director christina hornisher we have outtakes trailers okay so liner notes um were by cinema historians marky e. huck david zilkin richard Kraft, and jim van bieber as well as uh, that soundtrack which is remastered in 24 bit 192 uh, kilohertz sound from the original master tapes and other surprises so i know nothing about this movie i know nothing about this release but it seems right up my alley and i can't wait to dive into that so that just came in yesterday so that is like brand brand new to the collection put this back in here like that okay so on to the rest of these are the pickups this is everything i the rest of the stuff that i bought for the month uh first up i finally pulled the trigger on a severin box set i've been uh desperately desperately needing and that is violent streets the umberto lenzi thomas million collection let's check out this box here you've probably seen this a million times that's okay i'm going to show you again so beautiful release here. What I actually did um, with all of my box sets that are this style, with individual discs on the inside, is um, the movies are individually on the shelf. So uh, this box is housed on top of the collection where you can't see up there, and then the individual titles are um, are on the shelf in order. So it just makes kind of browsing through the collection a little bit easier, understanding what I have. Um, but in here we have five titles. We have Almost Human. And disclaimer, I knew nothing about any of these titles at all. These are all brand new to me. Uh, Syndicate Sadists. And this, these artworks, these uh, commissioned artworks from Severn are always absolute gold. So we have Free Hand for a Tough Cop. Check that out. Great artwork. And these have ton of bonus features soundtrack discs on most of them uh the cynic the rat and the fist this is the only one that i've had any sort of prior knowledge on and it's not even much so that and then the last one is brothers till we die so check that out yeah sweet release can't wait to take a dive into this exploring a territory i know nothing about like absolutely nothing which makes it so exciting for me uh, moving on, oh, get a sip. If you guys are, are, are like seasonal beer drinkers, this Down East um, cider, best of the best. I'm obsessed to, to say less. Uh, this was cool. So I think I got this a little earlier than some others. Um, I had saw, I had seen one Instagram story about this uh, release in Walmarts and I was very happy to pick it up. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. It's on my list too. Um, but I picked up the Frogman <clears throat> standard edition from Walmart. So check this out. There's your front cover there. And I found this in my local Walmart, which was kind of friggin' insane because I don't ever find anything there. So uh, there is the back there. And uh, this is a found footage movie I know nothing about. Uh, I heard, <clears throat> I don't want to say it was Peter, uh, Peter from the theater who had posted about this. A couple other people posted about it. Um, and I was just kind of like, what the hell is Frogman? I kept seeing Frogman. It's like when, um, when, when, when the VHS movie came out and so everybody was talking about Ratma. Was that his name? And I was like, what the hell is that? And then everyone's like, oh, VHS. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So I picked up Frogman. This was like seventeen ninety nine. I want to say at my local Walmart. Um, so super super cool release. A uh, ton of bonus features on here. We have uh, commentary. We have evolution of the script, behind the scenes, making a Frogman, um, bacon, baking with Casey Henson, the homicidal homemaker. <clears throat> okay, isolated soundtrack, outtakes, tell you ride a horror show. We have a music video, a short film, a short film with commentary, another short film, 
newly created subtitles and all that. So a stacked release from that team over at TerraVision. Always doing great work over there. Super happy to uh, to finally had found. I didn't find Malum when that was in uh, in Walmart. So I missed out on that because of that. So these next couple of titles, these are mod titles. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to put on blast who I got these from, but I'm part of a private Facebook group. Um, and the, there are two different sources that I get mods from, right? When I really don't care about a nice presentation, I just kind of want to get something for cheaper. I go to one when I really want a nice presentation, um, and get as close to a full experience on, on physical media with these titles uh, that I could, I go to another. And that's who I went to for these, um, such a good presentation. So the first one I got from him is The Night Comes for Us. This is a Netflix movie. Check out this. Look how legitimate this art is, though. Like, it looks great. I mean, at first glance, if you walked in and, glanced, and you know picked this up off the shelf, you wouldn't even guess it. Um, this is one I remember years ago. Years ago watching. Man, the, the action in this is fucking brutal. Brutal. Absolutely incredibly brutal. Um, there is, people talk about like the, the level of violence and the sadness. And I do think the sadness is violent. I think there's more like, it just, um, like sheer vicious brutality in the sadness, but the night comes for us is no joke. Swarms of people getting stabbed and cut up. Um, but this pretty much goes on the level of, um, uh, what was that movie called? Project... I have it up here. Project Wolf Hunting. So very similar style here. Um, yeah, if you if you have Netflix and you haven't seen Night Comes for Us, uh, just go in and watch it. Uh, it's it's pretty. Yeah, two hours and one minute, and it doesn't hold up a single bit. Like this movie is full force in your face the entire time. So I was happy to get get a good copy of that in the collection. You even get like a nice. There is reversible art, and then there's also you know a nice disc as well. But then my other pickup from him was uh, one that I'm over the moon excited about. And that is Broken Lizards Club Dread. There is your beautiful artwork there. <clears throat> Here is the back of the case. Um, so, like, I, I consider myself a Super Troopers fan. All right? I like it. I think it's good. And I, I am overall, I think, a fan of what Broken Lizard does. But I think Club Dread is best of the best for them we have bill paxton as like this um <laughs> uh like this just jimmy buffett margaritaville uh guy he's great you have a serial killer running around or a killer basically running around um at this resort killing off people the humor is great the violence is actually pretty good for a a horror comedy um there's actually some pretty decent jump scares in it, it it's just a lot of fun and it's been a long time since I've truly seen it, but I think there's a lot, a lot of great, great stuff in here. I haven't had this since a DVD when I was, I don't know, a teenager. So I'm very happy to have this in the collection. I'm waiting for this to get, like, somebody commented uh, when I posted this and they were like, uh, needs a needs a 4K deluxe edition release. So like, yeah, Second Sight Films, get on it. We can get the whole, we can get the whole trio. We have Super Troopers, Super Troopers 2, Club Dr yeah, maybe leave Super Trooper, Super Troopers two out of that 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 conversation. That's a bad one. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna breeze through these next five because I, I've been on a fascination lately with Gene Rollins, uh, who is a French filmmaker from primarily the late '60s all the way up until um, his death in the 2000s. Um, but I I want to do this deep dive and do this video. Uh, this video series about his work. So I picked up the rest of his titles from Indicator. Uh, Indicator, very happy to see the amount of attention this is getting. Um, for a while, I really only saw like a couple of my followers getting Indicator releases. It, it, it was really like, I think the biggest one I've seen lately was the release of George Romero's Bruiser, which they did an incredible job with. So I picked up, I already had uh, three or four of these. I was missing these five. I wanted to get them because they were still in the, the numbered limited editions. Um, and they were still uh, at, a, at a good price on Amazon. So in no order, um, first one is The Nude Vampire. And I love the artwork on these. The nice thing is like these releases are this matte feel. 
so we don't get any Nicolianos, but the artwork is beautiful. Uh, he worked with this artist on the first two releases. Um, and this is from 1970. This was his second feature. Um, Gene Rollins' second feature. So that's the Nude Vampire. Uh, the second one, so for this one, I'm actually going to change the name. I'm going to say Queen of the Vampires because um, there's an R word in here that I don't want YouTube to get mad at me about. But here is that beautiful artwork on the front cover. So fun fact, two artists actually hung out on set and fought for the... <laughs> Um, for the ability to do the art for a couple of his uh, a couple of his movies, but same thing here. You have the disc as well as a, a great booklet. I've already done a deep dive into this one, um, so I'm working on a video getting set up for this. But this is 1968, 95 minutes. Very interesting story with this movie. Real quick, um, this was actually designed to be a a short film, I guess you could say, or a half film uh, to go um, and play against another half film in a theater. It was gonna be like a double bill. Um, so they shot half the movie and then their one of the producers was like, wow, we just made half a movie for almost nothing. I bet we can make the rest of the movie for almost nothing. Uh, and you got a complete movie out of that. So that's Queen of the Vampires. Uh, another Gene Rollins one. This is from 75. This is Lips of Blood. Great artwork on this one here. Uh, again, it's a limited edition. So we have a booklet and we have the disc as well. We have, oh, this is the other one with that artwork. Uh, 1971, this is Shiver of the Vampires. I mean, I love the work on these. Indicator is such a great label that I feel like there's not a ton of people talking about, which is a shame. Uh, and then last but not least, this is his, I think this was like his last modern movie, uh, 1997. Uh, we have two orphan vampires. There's the front cover. I love the title-less front cover here, but... Uh, this is the limited edition with the booklet and the disc as well. So look for my Gene Rollins uh, coverage coming soon. I'm going to do like a little journal style with those. Um, I will say, though, the little bit I have like got into Indicator, um, some of the best, I think, booklets I've ever experienced with releases. Just great, great information, great detail. Really, really um, a companion to the movie, not just an extra, right? So, and then last two for the month, uh, Larry Fassenden's Blackout. This is from Dark Sky Films. Um, I did a full review video on this that very little people watched. It's okay. It's all right, man. I forgive you. Like, just come back, hang out, hang out again. Give me another shot. Um, but yeah, this was just released from Dark Sky Films, limited to a thousand units. Uh, in that review, I was encouraging people to check this out. I still encourage you to. Great, great, great little vampire movie. And I figured I would end this on a big note. We finally have Osgood Perkins' Long Legs out on home video. Um, I went with the Blu-ray over the 4K. The 4K, I know, had a ton of issues. I pre-ordered the 4K initially, and um, they kept like pushing back when I would actually get it over and over and over again. Um, and finally the Blu-ray was available for like release day delivery. Uh, so I just ended up picking up. I can't wait to watch it. I love that they went with this for the cover, even though I hate the blue Blu-ray up top. Um, but this comes with a bunch of great releases. I've heard amazing things about the commentary on this. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Um, we have on set interviews, uh, a couple of featurettes as well. So long legs is out now from neon if you missed this in theaters, I, I I haven't watched this at home yet, but I do think this is a movie that greatly, greatly benefits from the theatrical experience. Uh, so I'm curious to see how this holds up at home uh, on the small screen. You know what I mean? So Long Legs, last one in the collection this month. And that's that. You can guys can see the massive pile next to me. Um, waiting on a whole bunch of pre-orders. Uh, I know I'm waiting on the Houses of Doom set from Cauldron. That's one of my most anticipated. Um, I missed the overseas release of the Hellraiser Quartet of Torment, so I did pre-order that from Arrow. Um, that's coming. Um, Blair Witch Project from Second Sight is not set for until November. There's another October. Oh, the Nightmare on Elm Street 4K uh, UK limited edition set. So that's going to be coming this month as well. So thank you for coming and hanging out. Let me know down below what your favorite pickups were for the month. Um, I see a lot of good stuff drop this month. And I saw some people post crazy, crazy hauls this month. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what y'all got. On that note, I'm going to enjoy my cider. 
Cheers. See you guys on the next one.